Hey everyone, welcome to technique session number seven. Okay, face me, attention, and bow. Let's get started with a quick warm up. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the arms. We're gonna go ahead and circle one arm forwards. Do about five rotations. Good, and then circle that arm backwards. And other arm forwards. One, two, three, four, five. And back, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's turn that upper body side to side and do five in each direction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, hip rotations, five in each direction. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, knee rotations, and one, two, three, four, five, other way, one, two, three, four, five, uh, ankle circles, five in each direction, one, two, three, four, five, other way, one, two, three, four, five, let's switch directions, other switch feet, one, two, three, four, five, another way, one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, calf raises. We're going to do 20 of these. Ready? One, two, come all the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, we're going to head to the wall to finish up our stretches. So I got three different wall stretches for you guys to do here. The first thing we're going to do is just a normal stretch kick. Now we're going to put our hand on that wall. And the reason we have our hand on the wall is this wall just tends to keep us a little more upright, prevents us from, you know, crunching down like this. We want to really avoid that on our stretch kicks. Hold your opposite hand up. That's going to be your target. We're going to do 10 of these together. So everyone find a wall. Get ready on my count. One. Make sure you're breathing out. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, same leg. Now we're gonna do side stretch kicks. So I'm gonna keep my hand on that wall, turn my foot towards the back wall, hand out, bring that foot up sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm doing one more stretch on the same leg. So I'm going to turn and put my other hand on the wall. Now I'm going to basically kick that leg up and bring it to the back without stopping. Okay? I don't put that foot down at all. Okay, ten. Ready? One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, you guys. We're halfway done. Other leg. Okay? Ready? Hand against the wall. Front stretch kicks first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Okay, into those side stretch kicks now. Okay, hand on the wall. Other hand out. Make sure to turn that foot away. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And then turn. Okay, now we're doing those front to back stretch kicks. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent warm up, you guys. Let's get started with today's lesson. So, this drill is called stick your kick. Now, stick your kick means we hold it out 
for a split second. Now the reason we're going to be holding this kick out for a split second is so we can get that proper foot position as we do it, lock our leg out, reach the back. So the first one we're going to do is the front kick. So you're going to be in that fighting stance, rear leg front, hold it out, make sure you lock it out. We don't want to see you guys, you know, bend like this, you know, we want to extend it out all the way. This really, really works on your stability. Because imagine like, you know, how much it takes to hold that out for a second. Reach chamber down, hold, down. You don't have to hold it for super long, you know? Just hold it out enough to get that good proper technique going, and you don't have to kick so high. You know, for this one, it's really tough to hold it out and kick high at the same time, okay? So what you guys are gonna do is do this drill one minute on each leg. So you can do one minute right leg, switch, one minute left leg, and then you're gonna like stop the video and come back for the next drill. Ready? Go. Okay guys, next take your kick drill is for roundhouse kicks. Now this one, super fun. Roundhouse kicks, one of my favorite kicks. We're gonna pivot, hold out, bring it back. Kick, bring it back. Try to not just, you know, hit it and come back. You wanna hold it for that split second, lock your leg out, make sure it's all the way out. Really makes that kick more powerful and it helps you work on that balance. Super important, guys. Make sure those toes and ankles are pointed. Make sure you pivot that bottom foot, okay? So same thing here. You're gonna do one minute on each leg and then come back for the next drill. Okay guys, next stick your kick drill is going to be for side kicks. You're going to start off with really fighting stance, and then from here, we're going to swing around that chamber, and then extend, kick with that heel, re-chamber, make sure you land behind. This actually means you have to pivot your bottom foot forward and back, so we're going to pivot, kick, re-chamber, land. Now I'm going a little bit slow to really explain it to you guys, that we've got to swing around that knee, and then extend, re-chamber, land. I'll show you what it looks like fast. So you know, you can actually do this like this. One thing we really, really don't want to see is that roundhouse chamber, and then surround kick like that. We really want you guys to work on getting that knee all the way around. Pivot that bottom foot, extend, re-chamber, pivot back. Same thing on this one. 30 seconds, oh sorry, one minute each leg, and then you're done. Have fun. Okay guys, so for the next part of our techniques, we're gonna be working on slow motion kicks. Slow motion kicks are really cool because it really makes you work on that balance, that focus, that stability. And then eventually, if you can do it slow, correctly, you can do it fast, correctly, a bunch of times. So you're gonna chamber that knee up, extend the kick, make sure you pivot, or sorry, you point your ankle, peel back your toes, re-chamber back. You don't have to kick super high, as long as you're going slow, working on those muscles. Same thing here. One minute on each leg. Make sure you do both legs, not just one. One minute each leg, and then come back for the next one. Okay guys, next slow motion kick, roundhouse kicks. This one's a lot of fun. You know, bring that knee up, pivot, point your toes, extend the kick out, re-chamber, bring it around back. Really works on your stability muscles here to hold your body up as you're doing this. Don't go super slow like a snail, you know? But go slow enough where it's pretty obvious you're not going fast, you know? You're just kicking, working on that balance. Okay, so same thing here, one minute, each leg, come back for the next drill.
All right, next slow motion drill, side kicks. This one's even more fun, okay? We're bringing that knee up. We're going as slow as possible. We pivot, our hands are up, very important. We point with our heel as we extend out all the way. Kick, try and get your body flat. Re-chamber, land behind, very important. Now maybe don't go that slow, I was just explaining it, but go slow as you do this one. Remember, slow motion kicks. If you can do this slow, you can do it fast. In fact, working on it slowly makes your fast kick so much better. So just again, make sure you kick one minute. Ooh. Each leg, re-chamber, and then after you're done, have fun. Okay, so the next drill we're gonna do, you guys are gonna to need to find a wall. Okay, so um, we're gonna do what's called a front to side kick. So we're gonna, I'm actually gonna face forwards here. I'm gonna chamber up my outside leg. Okay, that's gonna be my left leg. I'm gonna bring that leg up. I'm gonna kick, and after I re-chamber from that front kick, I'm in perfect position for a side kick. Side kick and return. Now I'm in position for that front kick again. I'm gonna go kick, re-chamber, kick, re-chamber. Front, side, return. Again, front, side, return. Kick, re-chamber, kick, re-chamber. So each time we do a front kick to a side kick, that counts as one. Okay, you guys are gonna do sets of 10. Okay, do 10 on each leg. Let me do a couple more on this side to show you guys here. Again, from right here. Front kick to side kick, return. Again, front to side, return. Okay, so again, each one of those counts as one. I want you guys to do three sets of 10 on each leg. Okay, get going. So next one, we gotta do two more rounds of 10, uh, but this time we're not gonna use that wall. We're gonna do the same exact exercise, same exact drill, without the use of the wall to help us balance. So we gotta balance on our own here. So you might need to bring the level of kick down a little bit uh, to maintain that balance, but that's fine. Because I'm gonna bring that leg up from here. I'm gonna go front to side, return. Again, front, return, side, return. And then if you hop a little bit, that's fine. Okay, again, front to side, return. Um, so you guys are gonna do two more sets of 10 on each leg with that front to side kick. Okay, get going. So I got another challenge for you guys here. Now we're gonna do a front to back kick. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand on that wall. I'm gonna bring that leg up. I'm gonna go front, and then I'm gonna kick straight behind, like I'm doing a side kick or a, a back kick. Get okay, that leg is a front kick, then kick behind. Kick one, kick two. One, two, like so. So just like the previous drill, um, each time you do a set of kicks, a front and a back kick, that counts as one, okay? And you're gonna do three sets of 10 of these on each leg, okay? So again, I'm gonna go kick, 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 kick. Okay, try to keep that balance the whole time. Okay, guys, get going on that. So here comes the challenge. We're gonna try to do that same drill without the use of the wall, okay? So we're gonna bring one of those legs up. I have to go in and go kick, kick, and return. Kick, kick, return. Keep that balance. Oh, I'm about to fall. Oh, okay, got myself. Good. Again, kick, kick, and the height is not important on this, you guys. If you have to kick like this, that's fine. If you can kick a little higher, you know, that's even better. So if you guys want to do, um, this is our final drill. We're gonna do two sets of 10, um, and then that's the end of your class. Get going.